Welcome to Ready, Set, Drone. Today we're gonna to talk about how much money a beginner should spend to get into flying FPV. There's lots to talk about on this, but we'll keep it short, so stay tuned and we'll explain it. So first of all, this video is directed at people who don't currently fly FPV. They're FPV curious. And it means that you have seen these cool videos of people flying FPV, going through gaps, flying through buildings, bandos, all that sort of thing. You're like, hey, I wanna try that, but I don't wanna spend a whole lot of money, or maybe I do wanna spend a whole lot of money. That's really what we're gonna talk about right here, is how much money should you spend? And really, there's two options for freestyle FPV. But let me get it out of the way first and say, if you wanna do cinematic stuff, you wanna fly like more smoothly and have a stabilized image and fly indoors and stuff like that with a cinematic, really good looking footage, you should consider the DJI Avada. Here's a link to a video about that drone. It's ready to fly, but it's not a freestyle quad. You're not gonna be able to do a lot of power loops. You're not gonna be able to do a lot of crazy tricks with it. You can do a little bit of freestyle with the Avada, but it's pretty heavy because of all the camera stuff it has in it and the large battery. So you're not gonna get the same kind of freestyle experience as you're gonna get with an actual freestyle quad. Now, first of all, I'm gonna tell you that you could spend pretty much between $500 and $2,000 to get into flying FPV. And if your budget is $500, then I recommend this ready to fly kit from Emacs or one similar to it. And there aren't a lot that are similar to this kit. This is actually kind of a one of a kind thing. This is the Emacs Tiny Hawk 3 HD Freestyle, and it is a legit little FPV quad for freestyle. You can take this thing outdoors and with two 1S batteries in it, you can just rip this thing. You can do all kinds of tricks, you can do all kinds of stunts, and you can really get good at flying FPV because the power to weight ratio on this thing is amazing. Uh, you can dive it towards the ground and pull up suddenly and it'll respond really well. It's got a ton of zip for a tiny little quad like this. And what you get with this is you get the goggles, you get the remote, you get everything you need. It's all bound together and ready to go. So if you're thinking about getting into FPV and you don't wanna spend more than five or 600 bucks, I really recommend this kit right here. Now, the downsides of this, you're not gonna have as clear a video signal either in the goggles or on the recordings as you have with this option over here. And what I mean by that is you get a little more breakup with HD zero, but you can always upgrade the goggles later. You can upgrade the remote later. That's not gonna necessarily give you great quality video, but it will improve your overall flying experience with something like this. So for 500 bucks, buy the kit and then invest in five, six more 1S batteries that are the same size and you'll be good to go. You can get out, start ripping. As a matter of fact, get 10 batteries and do 10 batteries a day for 10 days and I guarantee you'll be pretty darn good at it by the time it's over. If you have more money to spend and you wanna be able to rip something a little bigger with better video quality, and a little better flying experience, then you're gonna to wanna to get into something like the Baby Hawk 03. Now this is the Baby Hawk 03. It is the big brother to the Tiny Hawk 3 HD, but this one has what's called an 03 video transmission system on it. It's a DJI product. It's a very high quality, fairly long range transmission that doesn't drop out very often. You can get it quite a ways away from you and through trees and stuff like that. And you get a very clear signal through the goggles and it flies so well. Now, one little nugget of information in here, if you're getting into flying FPV and you decide to go this route, start with a 4S quad. Don't buy a big 6S quad for a couple of reasons. Number one, you can fly these in smaller spaces. They're a little bit safer. They're lighter weight. As a matter of fact, you can get them sub 250 so you don't have to register them. And the batteries are quite a bit cheaper than 6S batteries. So start with a 4S like the Baby Hawk 03. Now with this, this quad is about $500 by itself. So where you get the entire kit over here with this ready to fly kit with the Tiny Hawk 3, if you buy the Baby Hawk 03, you're paying 500 for just the quad. No battery, nothing like this. Battery's gonna set you back about 40 bucks, maybe 25. You can sometimes get two for 40. Um, get a good quality battery, look at the reviews because you wanna make sure these things will last a little while. Then you're gonna get a radio. Now, with this type of quad, you can either buy a bind and fly, which is what I recommend, where the DJI 03 unit binds directly to the DJI controller, and then in which case you wanna buy a controller like this, which is about 150, 170 bucks and you can just push two buttons, they'll talk to each other and they'll be ready to go. Or 
if you're like some of the people in the drone community that don't think this controller is good enough for their flying. Now you're a beginner, so it probably is, but if you're wanting a more advanced radio that you can do more things with and program more stuff, you can get a Radio Master or something like that. Just make sure it has the same protocol transmission system as the drone. There's ELRS, there's Crossfire, there's a bunch of different transmission protocols, and that allows you to get a radio like this, set up different models and different rates and things like this in the radio that talks to different quads. You can also talk to different quads with this. Anything with an O3 in it will talk to this radio as well. And then of course you're gonna need goggles. Now this is really where the difference happens between the ready to fly kit with HD zero and an O3 quad like this. These are the DJI goggles too. And these receive a beautiful, beautiful transmission in HD from the quad. It looks like you're watching your television. It is crystal clear. You can record stabilized footage because there's in-body stabilization on the camera on this drone. You can get really, really great FPV footage with these goggles and this drone, but you're gonna pay for it. These goggles are another 500 bucks by themselves. Again, it seems to be a reoccurring theme that each of these components costs as much as this entire kit, but the quality is definitely there if you're willing to invest the money. And then finally, you're gonna need to get a battery charger. It's another 100 bucks for one of these. And then if you wanna buy three, four, five, or even 10 batteries, you're into it for another couple of hundred dollars for the batteries themselves. So I'd say for this entire setup, depending on what you do, it's gonna be somewhere between 1500 and $2,000 to get going with a digital FPV system like the Baby Hawk 03 and everything I've just showed you. But there's lots of tutorials on how to set it up because it is more complicated. If you start with this, you're never gonna wanna go to this because flying this and then going back to this is like watching a 4K TV and then going back to an old analog uh, SD, standard definition television. Totally different looks in terms of the quality. But if you start with this and you don't know any better, you're gonna have some fun with it. You're gonna learn how to fly. You're gonna be able to do some cool things. As a matter of fact, we have a video about this quad in particular with a review of it, as well as another video talking about, is it worth it for a beginner to buy this kit? Go check those out. If you start with this and then upgrade to this, you're gonna be a happy camper. And I'll tell you with HD zero and ELRS, this is still a fun little quad to fly. It flies great. It's just the video transmission quality is not as good and you can't really record cinematic or cool FPV footage without a lot of glitches in it because of the way it transmits and records. So I'd love to hear from you. What's a better thing to start with? A $500 ready to fly kit or a $2,000 kind of a la carte, more complicated but better kit? Again, I think it's the ready to fly kit, but tell me your opinion. Leave it down in the comments below. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time on Ready, Set, Drone.